Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Star Wars Outlaws is a bust already. This is going to be dead on arrival. Uh, Ubisoft dropped its official story trailer six days ago. Two million views. Not bad, hey? Not too bad at all. Oh, wait. 36,000 likes. Hun Sorry, what? Uh, sorry? Sorry, what? 137,000 dislikes. Why? Well... Because the main thing which they've shown in this, which is, you know, a key part of all of this, which is a Jabber's mission. Yeah. Jabber the Hut mission is now locked behind a season pass or $110 premium, premium edition at launch. This, this is going to just be dead on arrival. No one, no one's going to care about this. And remember, these are the same people that said uh, customers need to be comfortable uh, not owning your games. Like, sorry, what? Unbelievable. And people commenting, this is a single player game with day one DLC. That means that the $70 price tag does not include chunks of the game that are already finished. Insane behavior it is. In actually insane and people are you know this is a two day old comment and this is one of the top ones because it's so good you put it in perfect words let alone the DLC already made they released down the line that's the other thing as part of what they're saying they're going to release right it even says this is some of the stuff you can pre-order so you get a pre-order bonus which is a Kessel Run bonus pack uh, some cosmetic thing for your speeder some starship and some other crap, right? But listen to this. The offer, content, and dates are subject to change. Content may also be available to purchase and or as giveaways separately at Ubisoft's discretion. So what is the point in even getting that? Why uh, such characters as a woman are mess? Uh, someone say, hey, let's add annoying women and <laughs> go, yes, we do. Uh, no one really cares about the women specifically. It's more about the pricing, which is true. And that's what people have replied with. There are plenty of great games with women as main characters. Tomb Raiders, blah, blah, blah. blah, 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 blah. It's a predatory pricing. Um, season passes and single player games is crazy. Not to mention that is that it's $40, literally as much as Helldivers, for just a couple of extra missions. We killed Suicide Squad. Let's bury this mess too. <laughs> I love the fact that uh, Suicide Squad is now the marker for destruction. Yeah, I have no problem with the heroine, but the facial animation, jizzow. It's surprisingly not good. Um, yeah. $70 price tag, mid-range games, without adding their $50 DLCs. This is why YouTube hides dislikes. That's, that's fair. That is very fair. Ubisoft absolutely murdered their own brand. The ratio is deserved. Oof. Big oof. Seriously. And so, yeah, everyone on Twitter. You know, which isn't the build and end all, of course. But it's a good marker for the discussions surrounding things. And everyone hates it. I mean, you only have to search the video game YouTubers. Everyone is talking about how absolutely absurd it really is. Because it is... I mean, it, it's just lunacy. How can you do that? How can you, how can you justify it? One Jabba the Hutt mission. Uh, well, no. That's all part of it, yeah. It's in, it is absolutely insane. Turns out Ubisoft is far more sleazy with Star Wars than Electronic Arts. That's true. This is the one thing regarding Outlaws I'm not a fan of. This mission should have been available to everybody. Well, yeah, especially if it's quite you know quite literally what they're showing as them as you know one of the main elements of this i mean look it's in the bloody trailer false advertisement just it's outrageous translation 40 dollars for a mission that was supposed to be in the original game but we ran out of time yeah exactly you what you're gonna story trailer it's here but we're gonna sell it to you for 40 bucks Fuck off, man. This is why I don't play games anymore. 
Because not only that, ladies and gents, bet you anything, this game will day one be released and it'll be broken. You'll still have to have a day one patch. So what's the point? It's a broken thing. It is an actually, like, it, it's a legitimately a broken game already. Wow. Oh, it's in unbelievable. So yeah, people are not very happy about it. Ubisoft has already come under fire for single-player games. Star Wars Outlaws having a season pass. But fans are expressing frustration once again upon noticing its highly anticipated Jabba the Hutt mission is locked behind it. <sighs> you can't. Yeah. Ubisoft really don't want people buying this at launch, do they? Yeah, apparently not. Don't give your money to people who hate you. Yep. So they took everything right with gaming, threw it out, then took everything wrong with Disney and gaming and put that in. Good plan. A season pass for a single player game is mind boggling. Can we go back to 20 years ago when I had a full game on a disc and didn't have to pay for extra content? Well, that's what AAA gaming is now. It is just that 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 is it. A lot of the only good games coming out are from indie creators. I mean, look at Helldivers, for instance. Helldivers 2. I mean, that's, that's blown up. Blown up just because it's good. You know? Like, long gone are the days where you'd, you'd get a complete game and then you'd buy an expansion pack that was a whole other disc and it was a whole other game. Not just a mission. A mission. A bloody mission. My God. You see, kids, once upon a time, there was a company called Ubisoft. Yeah, they, they are going to destroy themselves. Like, they are going to destroy themselves with this. 100% they're going to kill themselves. This is not... Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not going to go down well. And this person's like, I think this game will still sell quite well, even with the season pass choices by Ubisoft. No, it won't. Because people have been burned by Ubisoft a lot. I, I'm, no, I don't think it'll go down very well at all. Yeah, let's buy a game for $70, then pay an additional fee that totals over $100 to play a mission that features Jabber. That is integral to the story trailer. Unbelievable. Already trash, yeah. It's dead. It is dead. You, it's just pay to play. Outrageous. Anyway, there you go. It's dead. What do you think? Let me know down below. Take care.